Hello everyone and welcome back to another Jedbed Arc Aviation video. In this video I'm going to talk about my self-proclaimed world's first player to go into realistic mode and get a kill on a jet while flying a prop plane with a VR, HOTUS and VR. I know that's a bit of a mouthful but it's not so complicated. Now if any of you watching this have seen my channel, you know that I play War Thunder only in VR on a HOTAS. Most people who play like this also play in sim or just don't use VR. We all know the challenge of going up against mouse players is that their aim is able to be crazy accurate. They are also in third person and can see you coming at them from any direction. Missiles are highlighted, uh, you are highlighted, and so on and so forth. Well, when I started playing in VR, my friends all did realistic, and I didn't want to play Sam alone. I just decided I w it was purely a skill issue and that I was going to overcome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have overcome this skill issue. But enough of my talking, let me show you how my record kill went down and how it was able to go down like this. Then after that, I'll show you an honorary kill I got on SU-39. Starting with the map. It happened on Hidden Valley with thick cloud cover over the mountaintops and around evening time. You might see where this is going, but let's move on. I set out in an F4U4 Corsair, coming in at the battle rating of 4.7 in realistic. My opponent, however, was a 13.0 F15A. Yeah. Well, cruising at about 300 knots, the Corsair made good time getting to the fight before the match ended, but halfway through my flight uh, to battle, I made a promise. Right after this happened to a dear friend of mine. I'm only going like 300 knots. <gasps> no! My friend! No! No! You watched, you watched him die, didn't you? <laughs> right in front of me that's traumatic no you will be remembered I will avenge him if I can well after that I was determined to get a kill on a jet little did I know that the arrogance of top tier players was about to deliver the fight I so badly wanted now most top tier players just missile you. I find these players to be very scummy and lack all honor. So to me, if you die right after trying to missile me, then you get what you freaking deserve. Now that I've held you up long enough, here's the actual fight. An F-15A sees me from far off and beelines it for me. He is determined to pad his kill count with me. He locks onto me and arms his AIM-9L. You would be partially right to assume that the clouds are the only thing that saved my life here. But in truth, uh, I, I would have been just fine if he had fired his AIM-9L. IR missiles are really nothing to be worried about as a prop plane. Anyways. His lack of ability to lock the AIM-9L forced him in cl close range for a merge. I fired off a burst but aimed a little high. At this point we enter a two circle fight. He slams on the afterburner and turns his air brake on. He starts pulling max AOA in an attempt to win the two circle. Now it's at this point where he probably realized he made a grave mistake to try and take me on my terms. Jets are made to travel very fast. Moving slow isn't something they're really made to do well. Uh, on the other hand, prop planes are made to move slow. Unless you're an SU-27 pulling max AOA, you are not going to win a two-circle fight with a prop. Even at that, the SU-27 would be left super slow, and the prop can easily dodge out of the way and kill it. So he pulls around, and I lose him in the clouds. Now he might have escaped me here, except for one of his mistakes. While passing through the clouds, I saw the glow of his afterburner. This was a clear as day target for me to aim for. Check my oil pressure. It's doing all right. You know, it's not like I'm on fire. Best of luck, my friend. Trying to give him other He's things coming. to lock on to. Fire! He's turning. Here you go. I can't 
see him. There he is. Fire, fire, fire! Yes! I got it! <laughs> and yeah, that was my world record kill. A clean and fair dogfight that ended with me as the victor. And let me tell you, the dopamine went straight to my head. I have proven that not even 13.0 jets are out of my reach. I will continue to strive for heights that no other players have been documented reaching. I will continue to hunt for jets in my Corsair. Thank you everyone for watching this. I appreciate you all. All the people who have subscribed and liked and viewed recently have helped me out a lot. If you like my content, please subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.